There's a study in the U.S. that suggests there's a connection between lack of sleep and the development of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's affects tens of thousands of British Columbians and their families, and one man who knows the battle all too well, who was diagnosed in his 50s, is on a crusade to increase awareness and funding. As CTV's Aaron Glazier reports tonight, over the next 25 years, the number of dementia patients in B.C. is expected to triple. Jim Mann is on a mission. I'm here to declare war. Wearing a purple forget-me-not on his lapel, he's pushing for a plan to attack Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. We need to, to strategize how, in fact, to deal with the, uh, the huge numbers of people. Jim is one of more than 70,000 British Columbians currently living with a form of dementia. He was diagnosed in 2007 when he was just 58. For him, the disease's progression has been slow. For Jerry Lister, Alzheimer's has been a sudden shock, attacking his wife almost overnight. British Columbia, let's set the goal and be the first to start funding this Alzheimer's. The Alzheimer's Society of BC wants to partner with the province to initiate more support for family caregivers, policies and programs that support early diagnosis and prevention and ongoing evaluation to track progress. The Ministry of Health says it is aware of the urgency to set the wheels in motion. The projected economic burden associated with dementia is expected to reach more than $130 billion within the next 30 years. They're looking for, I think, dedicated funding. And what I would say to that is that currently more than half of our health care budget goes towards seniors' care. Of course, they don't all have dementia, but there's a great deal of resources going in there. But Jerry Lister says that's not good enough. By 2038, more than 177,000 people in B.C. will be living with dementia. And the time to act is now. This is going to be of epidemic proportions in the next 10 to 15 years. And if we don't have a plan and we get that plan in action right away, we're going to be in trouble. As a huge wave of baby boomers approaches the health care system, Jim will carry on the crusade. Some people are willing, very willing to stay at home once they get the diagnosis. And no, and, and this helps bring them out a bit. And, and, um, and I think that that's all so positive for everybody. The cause of Alzheimer's disease is unknown and there is no cure. For more information on Jim's push for a plan, go to alzheimerbc.org. Aaron Glazier, CTV News, Victoria.